Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. Today in this video we're going to be showing you how to remove the electric window switch. This is the uh, main switch which is in the front driver's door. Uh, as you can see on the uh, switch here uh, it's actually uh, made up of four switches for each of the four windows and also the, uh, the child lock switch as well. All of these uh, switches here uh, as you'll see towards the end of the video are built into one large switch. Uh, these aren't separate. Okay, so this is what we're going to be looking at. This is for the A4, S4 and RS4, the B6 and B7 models. Uh, so let's take a look at what's involved. So the first thing you have to do, unfortunately, is to remove the door card. Uh, you can't remove any of the switches from any of the four door cards on the B6 or the B7 without first removing the actual door card itself. Uh, so this is the first thing you need to do. We've actually already produced a video on how to remove your door cards, so if you're uncertain on how to do that, uh, we'll add a link for you uh, below this uh, video on YouTube in the more information section. If you scroll down below this video, uh, we'll have a link on the door card video there. So if you're unsure, have a quick look at that video, get your door card removed, come back, and then we can focus on the actually getting these switches out. Okay, so now we have uh, access to the rear of the door card, uh, we can focus on the, uh, the actual switch itself. Uh, so the first thing we need to do, you see we've got our electrical connections attached to the, uh, the bottom of the switch. Uh, so I'm just going to get that, uh, let's get that disconnected quickly. Like so. And get that out of the way. So that's the uh, electrical connection disconnected. Now we can focus on the switch itself. Okay, now the, uh, the actual switch itself has got kind of a four plastic barbs, two on each side. And the plastic barbs actually sit in two little slots, uh, which are kind of built into the, uh, the door card itself. So you've got a slot here, and you can probably see the, uh, the other one over the other side there. Um, so we've got the, uh, the same kind of thing on, on both sides. Okay, so that's something to bear in mind, is we need to release these plastic barbs uh, to get this switch out. And this switch is going to come kind of directly down into this, uh, into this open space. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at it now. And one thing to point out, just going back to the, uh, the top of the switch here, is because we need trying to um, free those uh, plastic barbs from the bottom of the switch, what we want to do is we want to put our, our fingers or our thumb uh, on top of these uh, switches and give them a little bit of a gentle downward pressure, uh, like so. And when you do it, try not to press the ends of the switches, try to press kind of the, the solid parts of the switches. Uh, we're just going to give it a little bit of pressure just to help it so that when we do release the barb, this thing will just pop straight down and we'll be able to get it out from the rear. But without putting in a, kind of some downward pressure on it, you'll really struggle to get these out. So just bear that in mind. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to the underneath of the switch. What I'll continue to do is I'll keep some downward force uh, on these whilst I'm working on releasing the barbs. So one of the things that they've done to, uh, to help us a little bit of getting this switch out, so I showed you the, uh, the two barbs uh, up on the, um, the two kind of slots up on the front uh, a minute ago. If you look on the back, what you've got, hopefully you can kind of see that at the end of the, the tool there, is you've got kind of almost a, a plastic plate that runs the um, about two thirds, three quarters of the width uh, of that switch. Um, so that's what we're going to be focusing on because this is such a kind of a big beefy switch. We'll be focusing on uh, disconnecting the rear first um, because we have worse access to the rear and then uh, obviously to release the other uh, two on the front will be simpler by comparison. So, so we need to uh, look at attacking this plate uh, whilst putting some uh, downward uh, force uh, on the tops of the switches uh, with my thumb from the other side uh, at the same time as doing this. So let's take a little look. Okay, so the barbs are located in approximately the same place. You can just, uh, just uh, uh, pop one out there. So, you know, if you need a reference, if you uh, look back again and see where they're located on the uh, on the front one, and we'll do it, and then yeah, apply that to the rear, it make a little bit of sense. So I know that the uh, rear one's going to be somewhere around there in relation to my tool. So I just push that in, and I give a little bit of a twist whilst pushing down. And you can see that's actually released there. Now that might pop back in when I kind of uh, do the uh, same on the front here. I'll go in here, there, okay, so yeah, I think I've got both of those, yeah, both of the uh, the rear ones have dropped, that's perfect, so now I can focus once again on the front two. Okay, so I've uh, managed to release the uh, the two rear ones, so now I'm going to come back again and uh, focus on the uh, the two uh, front ones here. So again, keeping that kind of downward pressure on, on the switch, all you want to do is just try and uh, release these, these can be quite difficult. You sometimes got to go in quite deep with them, uh, but they will come uh, with a little bit of patience. There's one, great. 
So now we've just got this one at the front to get. There it goes. Yeah, perfect. So all four barbs are disconnected. You can see this, there's nothing holding this in now. And it does just come through this, uh, this gap here. What I'm going to do, make it a little bit easier for myself. I'm just going to disconnect uh, a couple of connections on the door card. If you follow it up here, we've got the, uh, the connector that goes into the door handle light. You twist that through uh, 90 degrees and pull it out. And then this goes into a plastic connector here. A little kind of double hook. What I'll do is so I'll just pull that out. That's just going to give me uh, the space that I need uh, just to be able to uh, remove this unit like so. What I'll do to remind you those click into place like so. So that is your, um, your main um, electric window switch uh, completely removed and good to go.